What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Section Store once again and in this video I will be showing you how you can transform this boring looking dawn theme default sections into something like this. We're gonna build a branded store with a bunch of our sections. We're gonna make it look really nice and the goal of the whole thing is to build a landing page which is going to convert also going to look aesthetically pleasing and hopefully this is going to be a guide for you how you can easily take the dawn theme and make it into something nicely looking and let's say we just get right into it so the first thing i did for this is that i headed on over to the shopify admin area let's just exit this one real quick where i firstly got a few sections from our app it's called section store and as you can see right here already in the beginning of the video, this is one of our sections. This one is as well. And here I also used one little hack and then I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how you can do that yourself as well. I've seen that in a couple of stores that people kept adding nice banners to their footers and I'm gonna show you how you can do that as well. Okay, the first thing I did for it is that I got the hero section 10. So this was that one. That is the one I used for this video. And I also got the slider free. This one, slider free. That is the one I used. And the last one I got is the text block pro. That is the one you saw at the end of the footer. And if you get yourself those sections, you're pretty much ready to go. Just make sure before you're gonna use the sections, head back to the my sections area of the app and yeah, you have to look for your sections and just add them to the theme you're using. As you can see already, I was using the Dawn Light theme, but it works on every theme, so don't worry about that, but we're gonna be focusing ourselves on the Dawn Light theme today. Okay, now we can happily jump back to the online store area right here with all our sections ready to go. We are ready to go as well, and here I started a completely new one, and I'm just gonna hit Customize, and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step, how we can achieve these results right here and get ourselves a nice branded look and store. Okay, first thing I did here was that I had it in the header tab and I centered the logo right here because I already know here on this banner the text will be centered as well and I all want it to be aligned so it all makes sense. It's gonna be consistent. It's always important. Customers will like that and at the end of the day, it will hopefully convert better. Uh, here, the image banner. We're gonna get rid of that one in a second. And the hero banner I used for this one is called Hero 10. Let's just chug it in right here. Here, I would like to get rid of this one right now. And now we're gonna start with that. So it's having a fixed height right now. Maybe we're gonna make it a little bit less. And the first thing I would like to do is actually upload this lovely looking image. I think it goes perfectly well with this. And also I'm gonna add a little overlay opacity. So the text and the contrast is going to be way better in this case. And here I would like to change the current headline. If we can find it, headline, yeah, that is the one. Let's see what we did right here. Shine bright with Penny. Let's just copy this real quick to save ourselves some time. This is looking good. Here I'm gonna use the Josephine Sands, but you can pretty much use whatever font you prefer. And here we're gonna see what else. I'm gonna get rid of this text right here because I don't think we're not gonna need that in this case. But at the end of the day, you can always do that how you think it makes the most sense. And here we're gonna do shop rings because it's a jewelry shop. And also we're gonna link it to one of our collections. It's all fictional, so I'm just gonna link it to a random one. And here I want the button to be 250 wide and the text maybe a little bit smaller something like this this is looking nice and also i want to give the button a little bit of roundness because i do think it looks nice and also the other sections we're going to use can have a lot of curves inside them so i think it just makes sense to also use the curves on this this button right here here i also want to change the text color of the button this is looking nice perfect and on hovering, I want to have it black. And this is looking nice already, perfect. We're almost finished with this section. I'm just going to have a few final looks. But this is looking pretty nice already. Just alignment of the whole section is something I'm not happy with right now. We're just going to scroll up real quick. And here we have it. Now it's all going to be centered. 
and this is looking pretty nice already one final thing i would like to do with the buttoner is that i would also like to have the josephine sons on it yeah now it's looking really clean those star reviews are also looking really nice and now i'm going to continue with the next section i'm going to chuck it in right here and that one was called slider free let's put it in and we're going to get ourselves the default version which is going to look something like this also here i would like to use the custom font again the button is something i will have to change i'm going to make this one a little bit smaller so it's going to line up with the other headline same goes for mobile so we can have a look how it's looking on mobile this is looking nice already this is looking good make it a little bit smaller in this case and now we're going to switch back to desktop and the first thing i would like to get rid of is the font here let's scroll down a bit i'm just gonna fill those thing with a bunch of images so we'll get rid of those I'm just going to be using four images and here we are back once again we filled all those nicely looking circles with some content i think they're getting already displayed in a really nice way something i'm not too happy with is, is are the current colors we got from the default section itself so here i would switch back to the other font as well and the same goes for the button so i'm opening up this one also going to use the custom font right here and it's already aligning up quite well with the other one so as you can see right here if we're going to give it a few more tweaks i think it's going to look pretty good already and if i click on the section here and scroll all the way down we're going to see all the colors used in that whole thing and i'm simply just going to switch them all to the ones we used i'm going to give them this gray black tone right here and i'm going to see you again in a second when i change this all up all right here we are again i successfully changed all the colors in those ones and now i would also like to change the background color of this one i would like to give this this clean gray tone and i do think it is already looking pretty nice and one final thing i also would like to do is doing some customizations to the button itself and here i want to have the button in that black tone actually and change the text color to white because I do think it's going to bring a really nice contrast towards those buttons up there. And also I would like to give it a little bit of a different look. So here we're going to look for the button and I'm going to go with the arrow. And instead of shop all, we're going to change the text of the button to shop rings. So it's going to align with the one we have up there. And also I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. To not be as big so the padding vertical i'm gonna decrease that so it's gonna look more like the button we used up here and this is looking already pretty nice i'm just gonna go down to, to 16 and it should work pretty well yeah this is looking good hover is working as well and we have our products aligned as well so those two sections are pretty much done i'm gonna save it up real quick and with that being successfully done we can move on to the last section of this whole thing and i'm just going to add it right here to the footer and i'm going to type in text pro and this is the block i was using uh, i was looking for and we're going to drag this one underneath the footer this is possible in the new dawn theme i think it's a really nice way i've seen that in a couple of stores and i do think it's really nice for the branding of your actual store so i'm just going to get rid of all those ones Chuck in the section title, the font I would like to use for that is the Helvetica Pro. And I'm going to switch this to black, select it. And here we will have the Benny as well. And the title size is going to be a lot bigger. So this is looking nice. This is what I was looking for. Here I'm going to smash use custom font. So it's going to be the same as here. And I would like to be the color in white and the background in that little gray dark tone we've been using because i think it's definitely going to pop out it will be a really strong branding message so we're going to save all this up and have a final look at it in the live version so let's just open this up and here we have it already this is the branded jewelry store we just designed in a few easy steps it is made to convert. I do think it's looking really nice. Here we have all the products. You can link to them directly. 
So, so working with this infinity loop on the slideshow and it's all gonna get rounded up by this nice neat looking footer section right here. And yeah, I hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And if you have any questions, always feel free to also reach out in the comment section to us. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.